while we were in here, uh, we were discussing, uh, you know, the uh, how many acres or moves or hectares we could till in a day, and it was very, very uh, impressive what we could uh, do and uh, how much acres we could get done in a day. And so it was uh, so exciting and uh, something that we'll never forget. Hello. Mr. President Xi, this is our daughter-in-law Natalie. Hello. And our granddaughter. Uh, <laughs> President Xi greeted my wife, then he greeted my son's wife, and then my grandson. He talked about our family. He asked us many questions about our family. So we also talked about how important agriculture is. But what was surprising to me was how knowledgeable President Xi was about agriculture, how um, important he knows ag agriculture is to the world. This is the picture as we were in this room, actual room here, and uh, we were just in discussion here and talking, just like uh, if you were with your best friend. This is a tree. We had some presents. Uh, the present she uh, gave us, it was uh, one of them was this vase. So th they just all have a great meaning. We take care of it. We don't we don't use it because we think it's too uh, we cherish it too much and we keep it as a as a very special gift. He was very friendly to us. He made us comfortable. He made us feel like he was uh, someone we had known for a while with his uh, kindness. Rick Kimberly placed the photographs of Xi Jinping in the most prominent place in his home. Xi Jinping told Kimberly that 27 years before in 1985, when he was party secretary of Jingding County, he had brought a team studying corn processing to Iowa and that he'd always wanted to return. Although they were 27 years ago, but he remembered the time and he remembered that. He says the people of Iowa, that's what he thinks of, of the friendliness those impressions stayed with him. That's the reason he came back here and wanted to uh, revisit that time. You see, see a long way is out here. We have a lot of farms out here in different areas that you can see in the distance. The Kimberley family farm is vast and has nine grain storage silos. Xi Jinping asked how long the grain was stored and how was the storage temperature controlled. Kimberley was surprised by how perceptive Xi Jinping's questions were. This area where we had a good discussion on, on the storage and the uh, taking care of the grain so we talked here and we talked about these grain bins, these are very large bins, how we fill them, how we dry our grain. So she uh, understood that this was something that uh, needs to be developed more in China. And we were walking across the yard. I saw President Xi uh, looking across and saw one of our tractors. And I just asked him if he would like to uh, go to that tractor and get in the tractor. We, uh, would you like to... Uh so I asked President Xi to sit on the main tractor seat and he went in and uh, as we went in we had other discussions about the monitors and uh, the power of this tractor, how many uh, horsepower it has, how much it can do in a day, you know the, the big smile we both had that uh, the enjoyment being out here in the fresh air in the countryside. During his visit, Xi Jinping asked Kimberly if he did any agricultural business with China. Within five years of Xi Jinping's visit, Kimberly had established farms in China, in Hebei, and in Mongolia. 
And uh, this friendship that uh, President Xi has shown us, I've tried to come back and visit people of China and show our friendship back to them. And we've made many, many friends.